everyone, welcome to Ruroni Kenshin and Jo Kyotorine. Uh, this is episode 2 of my Saito playthrough, and today we will be doing some actual police work. Um, one special note well, I already played this part, I actually also recorded it. Um, unfortunately, my audio uh, recording got deleted when my computer decided to shut down itself, which is unfortunate, but well, while playing the, this uh, part the first time, um, I noticed that the notes I had about this next sequence in the game were not entirely correct. Um, so far so that I just ended up running around for almost an hour talking to all of these people to get the next sequence initiated. Um, I reviewed my footage, luckily I still had that. Um, and I took some new notes, some actual personal notes, instead of those that were translated by uh, or from a Japanese walkthrough. Um, today we will be doing some actual police work, which is quite interesting since we definitely we are a police officer after all. Well, Saito is. So the first thing you do when you arrive in Kyoto is you go to the inn lady. Just talk to her and spend the night. Then this happens. Just go and talk to the woman over there, which will initiate a new sequence. Well, apparently there's been a murder. A police officer, nonetheless. After that lovely scene, we end up here, um, somewhere in the past, uh, actually during the Bakumatsu Revolution. You see Saito in his uh, Shinsengumi outfit, ambushed by, well, a couple of samurai, really. Next to him is his fellow captain, Okita Sogo, or Soji, Okita Soji. I think I'm confusing him with the Gintama version, really. No, I do believe it's Sogo. No, Sogo is his name in Gintama. Either way, um, this fight, uh, we have two main objectives. One is to dispatch 12 enemies. The other objective is our partner Okita over there, he can't die. If he dies, or obviously if Saito dies, the mission is, is, is over and we get to restart. So. Basically, don't let your partner die and kill 12 people. Oh, we're not off to a good start here.
Right, so you're really poor here. But we did it. Well, that ain't no good. Both in uh, actual history and the f popular um, anime and manga franchises, Okita suffered from what I believe uh, was tuberculosis, which also killed him. They show this in the Rurouni Kenshin uh, OVA. Uh, where Okita actually fought Kenshin, started coughing up blood, and then Saito took over. I also think they did show this in a flashback scene in the anime. Now, round two. Uh, this time there are 20 enemies and Okita is actually severely weakened. Uh, I guess his disease is starting to inflict uh, a lot of pressure on his body. This is quite a lot harder, so I hope I stop messing about. The main trick uh, is to just stay close to Okita. Don't let the enemies gang up on him because he will stagger, he will start coughing and not be able to defend himself. So it is crucial you stay close to him and draw the enemy's attention towards you. He's actually doing a pretty good job. Oh, 
That was actually a lot easier from the other times I played this fight. So as you can see, my save uh, timer is way shorter than it was before, uh, mainly because yeah, I, I did replay this part and um, I skipped all the cutscenes. So by doing that, it really shortens the length of the game. Now then, seems like Saito is done reminiscing about the past. Okay. The second thing we have to do is sleep at the inn. Bakumatsu no Gotok, Kyoto no Heiwon o Obiakas, Enzoku Tsujigi Jiken, Saito wa Keikan toshite no Seki, Soshite Onore no Shinde, Aku, Soku, Zan o Tsuranu Kubek, Tsujigi Jiken no Sousa e to Ori Dashita. Um, okay, the next part is really crucial. If you are playing this game or are planning to, pay attention. Talk to every police officer at the police station. So that means that guy, this guy, that guy over there. Go inside the police station. Talk to this guy over here. Leave. Go to District 1. And talk to all the police officers here. This guy. I'm sure they're giving us some juicy information about the murder investigation, but yeah. For obvious reasons, we cannot understand them. Another one over here, talk to him. Uh, and there should be one over here too. There we go. Now that's all of them. Um, leave the district. And just go to any random place. Again and again until it becomes night. Okay, so when it is night, talk to the police officers again. Mm 
I'm just running around this corner to make sure I didn't miss any of them. Which I didn't. Okay, that's good. Leave the area and go back to the police station. Talk to all the cops here again. I'm not sure they say anything different or that this is even mandatory. Um, but to be safe, just talk to them. What we want is to initiate, oh, this guy is definitely saying something else. What we want is to initiate the next event in, or the next sequence in this event. And we do that by talking. Professional investigator, Saito Hajime. There we go. Now leave. Go out of this area. Until you trigger the daytime. Talk to all of the cops. Actually, I think we made a small mistake here. Or did we? I'm not sure. So just talk to the cops, leave the area. Go back to the police station. Go inside. Talk to this guy. Yeah, okay, we definitely did make a mistake. Um, okay, I'm going to speed this up for you guys, so it's, it's not going to become too boring. See you in a bit. Here we are, my time, back in District 1, talk to the officers, and there should be another police officer standing here, which wasn't, the, he wasn't here before, and a dead body, this is the second murder, so talk to the guy looking at the corpse. Gives us something, I have no idea what. Maybe a letter. I presume it's a letter. And simply leave. Go to the police station. Have a talk with the guys over here. Don't forget the one inside the station. There we go. I'll leave. Go back to District 1. And it should be daytime. No, still nighttime, okay. Is the guy and the corpse still there? 
I'm not sure. Yeah, he's still there. Um, to be on the safe side, we're just gonna talk to these guys again. Yeah, definitely talk to these guys. Okay, leave the area. Go back to the station. Go inside. Talk to him. This is crucial, you are important. This You only need to talk to the guy inside the station at this stage. And that initiates this sequence. Saito inform, or what I believe to be, Saito informs the, uh, the cops at the station that there's been a second murder, which is this guy. So he brings them over. Here you go. They investigate the scene. They talk some more. <laughs> Saito extinguishes a cigarette with Lots of flair. And leaving his subordinates to do the dirty work. Okay, after you took the guys at the station to the murder scene, just leave the area. And go to this section over here. The grassy hill or the grassy knoll, I'm not really sure what it's called, but the grassy area over here. Um, there should be some other NPCs over here, but they're not, so we're out of luck. Um, maybe we do have to, or maybe we, it does have to be night, um, just to be on the safe side, and because we have to kill some time anyway to, in order for it to become night, Go to the police station and talk to everybody again. Once you've done that, just leave and head over to District 1. Where you get to do the same thing over again. Talk to all the cops here. Oh. Don't forget about this guy over here. He wasn't standing here before, so. Do you believe that's all of them? Yeah. Leave the area. And since it's dusk, it should be night when we enter the grassy hill. I certainly hope so. Yes, it is, but there's no one here. That is quite frustrating. Okay, maybe we. It does have to be day. I, I don't know. I did not write that down. Oh, it does say night over here. Hmm. But there's no one here. That's a pain. I'm just hoping by leaving and entering the area that these guys will show up. Which they don't. They don't. Okay, so once again, and I also think I will speed up this part, go to the police station, talk to all the cops there, 
go to District 1 and talk to all the cops there as well. See you in a minute. Yes, okay, so um, It seemed we did have to do that now these guys will show up during the night Let's talk to this guy over here. The others are of no real importance When we get to fight some punk. Twenty of them. How nice. And we're down to one. Let's give this one something to remember us by, eh?
after that lovely ambush, uh, leave the area. Go to the police station. And talk to your colleagues over here. and once again head for District 1. After we exit and re-enter District 1 during the day, talk to everybody again. I'm sure that the step-by-step -step, um, guidelines for this entire investigation can be somewhat shorter, but since since I don't understand <laughs> Japanese kanji, katakana or hiragana, um, I'm just doing quite a lot of these steps, which I don't think are mandatory uh, or essential to progress this event. Uh, I'm just doing them, you know, to make sure. So, after talking to everybody in District 1 during the day, go back to the police station and talk to everybody again. Do we do we just walk through that wood? Oh, oh my god, we can, we, we actually we can walk through this. We can. Oh my god, what, what is Saito like, like a ghost? Look at this! I'm sure they forgot to... Code this, this... This wooden pillar here. But... The, the, oh, wow, I never noticed this before, this is, this is really strange. Okay. Now, uh, leave, head for District 1. We did talk to everybody here, so... Um, I believe we have to progress the time. But the Inlady won't let us sleep at all, so... We did talk to him, didn't we? I don't remember. No, I don't think we did. Just leave the area. Come back. Do it again. Just try to advance the time. You can re-enter or... Uh, you leave and re-enter the same area to do that. You don't have to, but... It's easier this way. Okay, it is night now. But I'm a bit... perplexed. Since... Oh, this guy is gone. And so is this guy. I'm a bit perplexed because the next story 
event should happen. Right about now. Oh yeah. So, you see this guy running away? I wonder why. Because, obviously, he is a traitor. Some fine police work there, Mr. Hajime. We've identified the killer. But why did he do it? And who was he working for? Howard is asking for reinforcements. These guys, do they really think they, they stand any chance at all? More well, they probably do. Otherwise, they wouldn't try to fight me. Ahuga! Oh, oh, okay, okay, I see how this is going. Bloody trailer. And yes, we are going to keep saving our points until we get a crap ton. No, obviously calling for more reinforcements and who are these guys? Ninjas. They're ac they actually belong to Shishio's Owl Squad. They're the ones that ambushed Ayoya at night. Where Okina takes care of business. Actually sticking candles in their hands, I believe. It was really freaky. These guys really aren't that much big of a threat. Not at this point, anyway. So, just make quick work of them. Not like that. There we go. Oh, who's that? That 
That's Henya. From the Jupon Gatana. Could it be that... Oh yes, oh yes indeed. Well, I'm not entirely sure that he was beyond, uh, uh, rather behind all of the murders. Um, it does seem that he was in charge of these goons. This story event wasn't in the original story. I do like that they put this in, this entire murder investigation thing. Uh, when Saito arrived in Kyoto, holy hell. Okay, he's getting ready to fight. Uh, well, as I was saying, when Saito arrived in Kyoto, you really didn't see much of him until Kenshin had his battle with Cho. So this part, this entire part, is all extra. And I have to say, I do like it. Give Saito a little bit, mm, or, or something to do, rather, as Kenshin is traveling towards the city. Okay. Uh, basic strategy, since Henya is flying in the air, we can't hit him. Um, our upwards Gatotsu, in fact, is also unable to hit him, which I found really weird. You see, you can track his shadow, try to hit him that way. But the only, only way we can physically attack him is if we ju- oh, oh, yeah, he throws dynamite, is if we jump and then try to slice at him. Just jump and normal attack. You see he falls down, but be careful because when he falls, he immediately throws some dynamite to launch him into the air again. If you're quick about it, you can get in a Gatotsu or maybe even some more moves, but you'll quickly notice that all of that isn't really necessary because Hanya has... Oh, he hit me with a damn dynamite. Hanya, Hanya has... Um, Hanya, I, I kept calling him Hanya, didn't I? Know that Hanya is the Oniwa Banshu guy. This guy. This is Henya. Hanya has what I like to call a big weak spot. Which is also why I believe that Yahiko was able to actually defeat him. Don't go into these alleyways because it can be difficult jumping and, and targeting on him. So just lure him back into the main street if he goes into the alleyways. You see his health is already flashing red. Oh, come on. Which is because he has a very, very low defense. What a coward. Obviously, Henya did not come up with a plan to murder some police officers to lure Saito out of hiding. Not that he was really hiding, but oh well. Um, it was Hoji. This is Shishio's advisor. For those that don't know who Hoji is, he's kind of like the left hand man of Shishio Makoto. He is a pretty dastardly schemer. I don't know what goal they wanted to accomplish with this, possibly take out Saito, I I'm not sure what they wanted to do, they're, they're discussing it right now, but yeah, can't really understand it.
風が出てきたな京都の地風が止むのは一体いつになることやら終わりましたねああ<咳>斉藤さん僕が日村さんと戦える体じゃないとまだ思ってますかまだ思っていると言ったら別に何とも思いませんよ思えば刀を手に取り誠の旗を背にしてみたらいつの間にか新選組一番隊組長になってここまで来た素晴らしいとまではいかないけれどいい人生ですいい人生か今まで勝てないと思ったことは一度もなかったなのに皮肉なものです病魔に蝕まれた自分の体には勝てないだろうどうして目に映るものなら全部叩き切れるのにどうしてまた全部僕の邪魔をするものは全部僕は自分の力で生き自分の意志で死にたいただそれだけそれだけなのに武士道とは死ぬことと見つけたりか病が定めというのなら僕は最後まで戦いますケンに身を任せ行くことかなわずばここに捧げてゆくが本望男として剣客として生まれたからにはたとえ何があろうと無論死ぬまで剣に行きます剣に行き剣に死すかどこかで聞いた言葉だなしかしどこか君らしいねえ斎藤さん斎藤さんならどうですやっぱりここで死にたいですよね。After that touching scene,、um, we're done with this murder investigation part. So, from this point onwards,、uh, the game follows the storyline of the, the, the original story again.、Um, before I go, I do have to make a quick shout out to a buddy of mine, Vist Shogun Gamer. He runs a YouTube channel、uh, at Vist Shogun Gamer. He's currently playing a playthrough of Rurouni Kenshin and Jo Kyotorine himself、uh, with Kenshin. Just,、uh, I believe he's at episode 6 at the moment. He's just started mastering Hita Mitsurugi. It's pretty fun stuff.、Um, go ahead, go take a look at his channel. Maybe look at a couple of his videos if you like what you see. Definitely subscribe to him. I feel that he is heavily underappreciated on YouTube. Uh, he definitely deserves some, some more views and some more, some more attention. So go check him out. And as you're doing that, or after you did that, go and have a look at the Ruroni Kenshin or the Ruroken.com forums. 
We managed to win the Spam War, the Great Spam War of 2013-2014. Um, it was a big struggle, but I did manage to install quite a lot of anti-spam measures that have stopped any kind of spam or any kind of automatic spam permanently. Uh, so this way the forum stays fun for everyone and it also means that um, I will be involved way more than I was before. Um, okay guys, see you in the next video and have a good day. Bye.